Welcome back to Adelante Chicago. According to a study from the University of Chicago, thousands of children in the southwest neighborhood of Brighton Park don't have access to early education. That's about to change when the Gads Hill Center opens its doors in Brighton Park on October 25th. Joining me now is Maricela Garcia, CEO of Gads Hill Center. Welcome back to Adelante. Thank you for having me. It's good to see you, Maricela. Tell me a little bit about uh, why why don't these children in Brighton Park have access to uh, early education programs? Because uh, there are no centers in the community. This is the first one that is going to offer early childhood education uh, programs for so many kids who for years have been wanting to join um, high quality programs to be able to build the skills that they need to enter school to succeed. It's unbelievable. It's in the thousands, according to the study I mentioned. Yes, it is about 3,000 children that are missing out because there are no early education centers in that neighborhood. So parents have to leave, if they know about early education, leave the area to find that help. Um, that is a case, and many uh -huh. uh, families also struggle with their finances because they, uh, one of the parents has to stay with the children. Right. And so we want families to lift themselves out of poverty, but we don't give them the tools to do so. Right. So where is this new center located? Tell me a little bit about what it's going to offer. It is going to be an Archer and Whipple, mm -hmm. and uh, it is a very busy street because Archer is very busy, mm -hmm. so people driving through are not going to miss it. Uh, it's a beautiful building. We are really excited to offer the community a state-of-the-art facility so that they can count on a place for the children to learn. I think we have video from what it looked like before. Was it a standing building already that you guys bought? It was, uh, mm -hmm. it, yeah, it was a store, an old building, and uh, what we have done to transform it is amazing. Really? So tell me what it's going to offer. Is it only early childhood education or is it a community center as well? Uh, we are building a community center on the second floor. So uh -huh. at this point, it's going to be the early education uh, center for 124 children mm -hmm. and uh, birth to age five. Okay. And uh, in addition to that, uh, upstairs on the second floor, we are going to also offer after school programs for the siblings, for the older siblings, mm -hmm. and also adult education programs for the parents, but we are going to build it next year. So at this okay. point, we're only uh, opening the early education center. So you're gonna make a little bit of a difference. This is 120 children. Is the plan to make it uh, a bigger program eventually, or to maybe attract other centers like yours? Uh, we hope that we can in, uh, be an incentive right. for others to see that uh, the community will welcome uh, something, a resource like this, and that they will be not only the first, but the beginning of many other centers. One of many. Are these services free? Yes, they are. Wow. Families have to qualify and mm -hmm. uh, they have to be working or in a school mm -hmm. uh, in order to qualify for the early Head Start and Head Start programs and also income. Uh, they have to be able to meet the income expectations set by the federal government. And to do that, they can just call us uh, or contact our website and we'll give them all the information about how families now can register the kids in our program. Maricela, many, many years ago, people thought that early education was just an option. It was like maybe glorified daycare, right? Why is it so important in the, de in the development of children? I am glad you're asking mm -hmm. that because it's true. I think that we didn't have the research in the past 20 uh, years ago to understand the fast uh, uh, brain development that happens before age five. So 85% of a child's brain develops before age five. That means 85%. That 85%. And, That's uh, most of it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's why we call them little sponges. Yes. Yeah. They learning languages, yes. learning vocabulary, learning. Uh, math concepts, everything at that point is possible because the brain is connecting very mm -hmm. rapidly. And so that's why after that research uh, became uh, widely available, um, many uh, organizations started looking at the seriousness of creating high quality programs. It's not just putting the kids in a daycare, right. it's really making sure that they have the uh, a, a, a cognitive 
and, um, and fun environment that are going to help the, the child not only develop cognitively, but also social e emotionally. Tell me a little bit of the history uh, of uh, Gads Hill Center for people who don't know. Gads Hill Center has been serving Chicago families since 1898, so for 122 years. <laughs> uh, we have been a beacon of hope for uh, low-income families and working families uh, to find the resources to support their educational and work-related goals. And where are you located? Because this is your first one at Brighton Park. You're calling it a flagship. Tell me a little bit about where you can find other centers. Uh, our original uh -huh. settlement house, the building that was built more than a century ago is in Pilsen, uh, Cullerton, and um, and Damon, and mm -hmm. it was because it was an entry point for many immigrant right. groups. So when it was built at the end of the 1800s, it served primarily European immigrants. Right. And uh, the organization has been very adaptable to every immigrant group that has come to the city seeking for a better life. And very um, also changing with the times and the needs because you went from immigrant intake and placing them where they needed to be in their new country to early childhood development and so on. Yes, uh, we noticed that uh, it is critical for families uh, to have to count on places mm -hmm. that their children can learn the skills that they need to succeed in the school, but also that they can have the opportunity to go to work. And we provide long hour uh, days, mm -hmm. as uh, 10 hours if it's necessary, so that the families can uh, hold full-time jobs and uh, improve uh, the economic circumstances of their families. And the quality of life. Maricela, thank you so much. Congratulations on the new center. It thank opens you. October 25th. Correct. And for information, uh, we're going to have the website right there, cadgatshillcenter.org. Correct. Thank you so much. Have a great day.